Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Poco F3 versus the iPhone XS. And guys, and the iPhone XS is powered by Apple A12 Bionic chipset with 4 GPU of RAM, while on the Poco F3, we have a Snapdragon 870 processor with 8 GPU of RAM. On the back, we have dual cameras on the iPhone XS, while on the Poco F3, we have a triple cameras on the back. We have a 48 megapixel main camera on the Poco, while on the iPhone access we have a 12 megapixel main camera although the back is made up of glass on both phones so i am really, really excited to see that how is the iphone access is stack up against the poco f3 in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test so without any wasting time let's get right into it and guys now let's see the boot up test here we go and the logo is here more faster on the poco as compared to the iphone access and guys, we have Android 11 on the Poco with MIUI version 12.5. While on the iPhone, we have a iOS 14.7.1, latest iOS, and you can see, and the iPhone XS, it is more faster when it comes to booting up. While the F3 now, it is also done, and you can see about 4 or 5 second difference between these two devices. And guys now let's talk about the display between DC devices and the POCO F3 is give you a full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate on the POCO F3 while on the iPhone XS we have a full HD the Super Retina XDR display with 60Hz refresh rate and also we have a punch hole on the POCO F3 while on the iPhone XS we have a big Apple notch which is same as the iPhone 12 Pro Max latest iPhone so now let's see apps opening speed and guys everything is closed up in the background and you can see no application is running in the background let's see phone dialer that is a little bit more faster on the iphone xs so now let's see settings that is exactly the same on both phones now let's go to the display and you can see we have 120 hertz refresh rate on the poco f3 while on the iphone xs we have 60 hertz refresh rate now let's check out some more application now let's see amazon shopping Apple A12 versus a Snapdragon 870 little move faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the iPhone now let's see the scrolling and that is fees much smoother on the Poco F3 60Hz 120Hz refresh rate makes huge difference now let's check out some games application let's see Candy Crush Saga and you can see in the Poco F3 it is a super super fast phone as compared to the iPhone X and we also have a dual speakers on both phones so that's really good thing now let's see instagram on both phones exactly the same let's see pin out again more faster on the poco f3 as compared to the iphone x and you can see and the snapdragon 870 it is more faster as compared to the apple a12 let's see snapchat a little bit more faster on the f3 let's see spotify that is exactly the same let's see subway surfer and you can see and the big apple notch looks very outdated faster on the poco f3 as compared to the iphone xs let's see temper and two last game application we have in the speed test again more faster on the poco f3 so you can see that and the snapdragon a70 it is more faster as compared to the apple a12 now the iphone xs it is also done and you can see about four or five second difference now let's opening up the tutor more faster on the F3, Zedge, and faster on the Poco F3. Now let's see the scrolling, and that is V is obviously more smoother on the Poco F3. 120 hertz refresh rate as compared to 60 hertz, which looks really outdated. So last time I launched the cameras on both phones, default camera app. Now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one. Let's opening up the camera faster on the iPhone XS as compared to the Poco F3. Now let's see internet browsing speed. So now let's open the wikipedia.org. Faster on the Poco F3 while the iPhone access is take a lot of time. And you can see huge difference again. We have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. Now let's see the scrolling. That is fee is more smoother on the Poco F3 again with their 120 hertz refresh rate. Now let's open this English. Again more faster on the Poco F3. And you can see iPhone is taking a lot of time again really smooth on both phones but extra smoothness on the Poco F3 next on the list is the apple.com apple.com it is also faster 
on the Poco F3 as you can see while the iPhone XS is take a lot of time to open the apple.com F3 is done and you can see now the iPhone XS it is also done and you can see huge difference so again really smooth on the Poco F3 120Hz refresh rate madness so guys now let's see RAM management on both phones we have 4GB of RAM on the iPhone XS with Apple optimization while on the Poco F3 we have 8GB of RAM again we have a MIUI let's see phone dialer no refresh let's see settings no refresh Amazon shopping no refresh let's see can you get Sega Instagram let's see pin out let's see snapchat no refresh let's see spotify subwoofer and you can see ram management it is really good on both phones so far let's see temper and 2 let's see twitter zedge last way back to the internet browser on both phones actually you can see no refresh on both phones and guys over up to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that in the Poco F3 is perform huge faster as compared to the iPhone XS in game app playing time I would say that in system based application and both phones is perform very similar and yes and the social media optimization it is always more better on the iPhone in terms of the RAM management wise and both phones is perform incredible in the RAM management no refresh on both phones so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Poco F3 versus the iPhone XS let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.